course. Hey Star Wars fans and action figure collectors, thanks for tuning in to another Star Wars The Black Series action figure review. This time we've got the first member of the Bad Batch and their leader, Hunter. This figure looks great. I'm still after a crosshair. Um, still haven't got him, but uh, he's the last one of the wave I will need. But yeah, really looking forward to getting this guy out of the box and giving him a giving him a review. And uh, I'm probably going to give him hit him with a coat of matte paint on the uh, face as well. Um, it's just a little bit glossy, but we'll we'll get a closer look at that when he when he gets gets out of the box. So um, again, like I mentioned in my Boca Town review, uh, I did do a little bit of a mail unboxing for my members. So if you ever inclined and feel like you want to jump on to memberships uh that's just a little member exclusive video that i do put out is uh i'm just starting to get onto that now is some member unboxings um just whenever i get some mail come in just open it up for the members but nevertheless let's crack open this figure and take a look all right here is hunter out of the box sans accessories we'll add them as we go along but i wanted to just start off and get a nice close-up look at this guy that sort of realistic interpretation of the uh, slightly genetically altered clone has turned out really well now there is a little bit of like extra shine and gloss that a lot of black series figures have had recently um, I am going to uh, hit that with some matte spray and I might do a little demonstration video for that and how I achieve that but otherwise the sculpting is just absolutely perfect Always is uh, the sculpting. The sculpting team at Hasbro are just absolutely fantastic. It's the uh, it's the paint apps that don't always translate super well, but this one looks pretty damn good. I'm not complaining at all. It's just for some reason just that glossy finish just doesn't quite do it for me. And see, so he's just a lot of reflections, specifically off the sort of the war paint there on the side of his face. Otherwise, that side looks just absolutely perfect, you know. Uh, weathering on this armor, it's it's subtle, but it's there. Like, there's scratches and stuff on his chest armor. There's nicks and dents. There's gray marks, like, just where the armor is rubbed. You know, again, nicks and dents on the shoulder bells there. I love the little 99 Bad Batch logo. 99 there as well. Just love that these guys have seen seen some action. Their armor has nicks and dents and scratches all over them. See there on the knee pads, there's nicks and dents. Some sort of detailing there where the sort of paint has sort of marked away and left the sort of chrome underneath. Same with the legs there. That looks just absolutely fantastic all across the figure. The feet are a little bit plain. Uh, they're just the plastic colour, they haven't been painted. But it's not a big problem. They're pretty much the same grey as uh, all the other sort of lighter greys throughout the rest of the figure. It's just unpainted, you can kind of tell. Same with the sort of the plastic sort of uh, knife sheath here on his on his arm. It's unpainted, but if you look at it next to that, it's it's barely distinguishable. It does have a peg hole there for his backpack. I love the look of Hunter. I love the sort of very much like Rambo or Mark Knopfler from Dire Straits. Up to you. <laughs> you know, wear the red bandana. So let's take a look at the weapons. We'll just put him back there. So, firstly, he comes with this pistol, which we've seen with most of the clones. Uh, clone commanders at least so far. I don't believe this is any different has no reason to be Unfortunately, there's nowhere for him to holster that it Does come with the little uh, vibro knife here a little vibro blade. It's a nice little yellow sort of details on that just to signify that sort of electric circuit sort of thing And I'll bring the figure back Because we can Store that in there. I'm not sure which side that that felt would be better in that side. So that's cool, nice and easy access for Hunter. 
and if you're standing like that you can't even see it's there. So while I've got him I might actually get the backpack and we'll take a quick look at that. Very much like a uh, Republic Commandos backpack. Again it's got the sort of weathering, the sort of scratching and scarring of the, of the plastic. Not as much as the silver sort of markings. Again this is sort of They've put some red accents on the on the grey plastic, but uh, it works fine. And it pegs in nice and tightly on his back there. And it looks good. Pretty solid. Stay. Stay. <laughs> Stay over there then. Right, next up is his, I'm not sure what they call it, but it's a uh, Republic Commando rifle. I've seen these predominantly with the Republic Commandos. We have seen this in a three and three quarter inch scale before. Awesome looking blaster. You get to use these as the uh, Arc Trooper Commander. In, uh, not the, uh, is it the Arc Troopers? Like Delta Squad? I think they're Arc Troopers. Completely blanking on the terminology right now. As always is the way when you're recording. But yeah, it looks nice. Good details. No, no sort of extra paint or anything on it, but uh, looks good. It doesn't look like there's anywhere to peg that on him, so that's fine. He'll be holding this one. So he's looking pretty tough. And lastly, we have his helmet, which looks like it may need a little bit of a... Uh, a little bit of a heat up, but otherwise it looks okay. It's just a little bit of an odd odd shape, could just be the helmet. It's a little bit flat, but we'll see, we'll put it on. Alright, that fits pretty nice. Okay, that looks alright. Okay, now that it's on his head and that's sort of pushing it out a little bit, that looks good. Yeah, I dig that. Again, great details on the on the helmet as well. So it scratches up the face. I love the sort of individualism that these guys have. Really looking forward to getting Crosshair soon, hopefully. And uh, Wrecker later in the year. And hopefully Tech and Echo shortly after. But yeah, I love the variations of the clone armor. Looks awesome. And that slides off nice and easily. Yeah, just a really, really cool looking clone. So I'd love to know what your thoughts are. Please drop them in the comment section below. Really, really appreciate that. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please do. And uh, stay tuned, we've got plenty more videos coming up soon. Till then, may the force be with you, always.